Last month alone, the Washington County Sheriff's Office spent $20,000 to house surplus inmates at other jails. This new state-of-the-art facility has all the room they need and plenty of room to grow. We could actually expand up to 500. More than three years after Sheriff Rick Silver began asking voters to pass a bond issue for a new jail, the facility is complete. Seven months ahead of schedule and $4 million under budget. They're not up close with the inmates like they were before. They can open doors electronically. Door party. Even with the lower cost, the new jail has everything from video visitation to a secure courtroom, even medical facilities. Silver says it's safer for the jailers who have less contact with the inmates, and it's safer for the inmates because now the population can be segregated. It's a far cry from the old jail below the courthouse that could house less than 70 inmates. The old place, we couldn't segregate inmates. Um, we had people that were in for murder, um, driving under suspension or DUI all together. Um, you can't do that. And uh, this, with this new facility and the room that we have, it allows us to segregate our inmates. The new jail can house up to 226 people. That eliminates the cost of having to pay to house excess inmates in other jails. Silver doesn't believe the county will find itself in that bind again because this jail has room to grow. We get over capacity again, and there's a need to expand by adding pods. We can continue to go south from the end of this building. And add on. The new countywide 911 dispatch center is still under construction, but when this room is complete next month, dispatchers from the Bartlesville Police Department will use this room to dispatch 911 calls from across the county, saving first responders precious time. Reporting from Bartlesville, Casey Robach, 2 News works for you.